and welcome to this video where we will dive into an important decision when developing with Power Apps. Choosing between SharePoint list and database table as your data source. This choice can significantly impact your app's performance, security and scalability. Let's explore which one might be best fit for your needs. When it comes to Power Apps development, the choice of data source is crucial. Two popular options are SharePoint lists and Dataverse tables. In this video, we will compare them across several key factors to help you make an informed decision for your next project. First up, let's talk about data volume. SharePoint lists are great for handling smaller data sets. However, as your data volume increases, you might start to see performance issues. On the other hand, Dataverse tables are designed for larger data sets, making them a better choice if you are working with millions of rows of data, especially in enterprise settings. Next, let's discuss about security. SharePoint List integrates well with SharePoint existing security model, making them suitable for basic permissions and role-based access. But if your application required more advanced security feature like row level security, column level security, database tables are the way to go. They offer robust security controls which are essential for sensitive or highly regulated data. Document storage is another important consideration. SharePoint lists excel in this area as they are natively designed for document management with features like document libraries. This makes them ideal for your application involved storing and managing documents. In contrast, Dataverse is not optimized for document storage. It's better suited for structured data rather than files. So keep that in mind when doing the decision making. Delegation is crucial for maintaining performance in apps with complex queries. SharePoint lists can struggle here, especially when dealing with complex filters or searches. Dataverse tables, however, have better delegation limits and can handle more complex queries efficiently. If your app requires advanced data retrieval, Dataverse is likely the better option. Cost is always a big factor. SharePoint lists are generally included with your existing Microsoft 365 subscription, making them a cost-effective choice for many organizations. Dataverse, on the other hand, may require additional licenses, which can add to your cost. However, for more complex and enterprise-level solutions, the investment in Dataverse can justify it by the additional features and scalability it offers. Now, let's talk about simplicity. SharePoint lists are easier to set up and manage, especially for those who are already familiar with SharePoint environment. This makes them ideal for simpler apps with less complexity. Dataverse, while more complex to set up, offers greater flexibility and power making it suitable for apps that require sophisticated data relationships and more advanced features. When it comes to performance and scalability, SharePoint lists may start to lag as your dataset grows or your operations become more complex. Dataverse, however, is built with performance in mind and scales effectively, even for larger enterprise-grade applications. If you anticipate your app growing in size or complexity, Dataverse is likely the better longer term choice. Development time is another important consideration. SharePoint list allows for faster development, particularly for simple applications and have a lower learning curve, especially if you are already familiar with SharePoint environment. Dataverse requires more development time due to its complexity, but once you are mastered it, you gain access to powerful feature that can significantly enhance your application. Maintainability is a key to long-term success of your application. SharePoint lists are easier to maintain for simpler use cases, but as your data and application complexity grow, you might find yourself needing more manual interventions. Dataverse, on the other hand, offers more automated tools and features that make maintaining complex application easier and more efficient. In conclusion, the choice between SharePoint lists and database tables really depend on your specific application needs. 
if you are building a simpler document focus app with lower data volume SharePoint list might be the best choice. But if you need to manage larger data set, require advanced security or plan to scale your application significantly, Dataverse is likely the better option. I hope this comparison helped you make the right decision for your Power App development. Thank you for watching this video on choosing between SharePoint list and Dataverse table for your Power Apps development. I hope you found this information helpful in making the right decision for your next Power App project. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content on Power Apps, Power Platform and other tech topics. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, drop them in the comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.